eastbound to Landonada, 26th Street. The guru and uh, Denny, they came down to crack of dawn at 5.30, hunted up in the dry sand where the monster trucks were. <coughs> it's uh, about 11 and something now, the tide's low in about an hour. I'll uh, give you a shout down when I get down there, stand by. They found some cl uh, clad and some kind of little medallion looking thing. I think uh, Guru might have found a camera. I think that's what Denny said, some kind of camera. Well, we got some waves. A little breeze out of the uh, southeast, it looks like. We got some depositors. I see one looter right there. I'm pretty sure it's the unknown man, by the length of his scoop. We'll see how it goes. Here's the first target to land in Nada, a big sinker. I never expected to find one of them. I ain't found a sinker in Nada in a long time. Maybe that's a good sign. There's Stan in the lane, plundering something. Mr. Stan. I mean, now we got some looters out here. Stand by, we'll see how he's making out. How you making out there, Mr. Stan? Cell phone. Cell phone. I got you good. How's that rig working out you made? Well, I ordered me a graphite one. Anderson. Stan made him a new scoop. I mean, a new shaft. The original shaft comes up to about here. Yeah. So. Not too bad, though, is it? It's kind of light, too, isn't it? Yeah. First one, I ain't seen one yet. I found a couple early to winter and that was it. Blackberry. Three weekends. Well, we got a nice out here. I mean, it sounds like a real McCoy sound, you know? Must be a nickel or a bull there. I don't see nothing. Oh, yeah, I think you see it. If I can get a hold of it. Sound. I don't know what this is, it's a low sound. Too scoop deep. Oh, there it is. Full camo. Mr. Dick's in the lane. How you doing, Mr. Dick? Hey, good. I, just got, doing, I got a little silver one about 10 feet that way. I thought it was a core, it was so loud, you know. Yeah. We get a lot of false signals today. It's hard to keep them Trying to find a silver ring in about four or five feet from the time. <laughs> I heard there's some people out here. I saw Stan, that's all yeah, I, I seen. He said Stan Lee's down here and the Guru uh, was down here. Yeah, they, was, they came down at 530 hunting the monster truck on site. Well, yeah, they came back down here with the guy got I just put it in here. Man. They find it. A sinker, first sinker I found in a long time down here. The first target I dug at 26th Street down the sinker. There it is. Wow. It'll probably pick it up. No, no. You got a no, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I can hear it good. Listen to that. 
Oh yeah, that sounds good, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's some kind of some kind of magnetic rock. I got two or three of them. Not today, I mean, but I've got two or three. They're real heavy. I got one of them and one of them and yeah. a couple of them. <laughs> Junk. But it's been kind of slow. Yeah. I mean, they, they ain't got many times. Well, you got a ring, that's a thing, right? Yeah, that's a better nice thing. Better than the damn penny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> All right, I got my granddaughter down here somewhere. I gotta go get her and go see Now, day before yesterday when I saw you, that's the first time I've been down a long time. When we got to 10th Street, 10th Street looked good. Uh -huh. One little shot right there at 10th Street. Oh, but really? I ain't seen nothing like it since then. I may go that far today, I don't know. I don't usually go down that end. I know I've never have found nothing down there. Died low about, what, 10 minutes ago, I think. Yeah. 20 minutes ago. Yeah, you're working the dead low right to the pier at 10 blocks. I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go three or four more blocks further south I think. Stand by. I got some some pieces you can have to put on to put it put it put back on yours. Yeah, you got a nice time piece, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't very hot down here yet. I didn't find a silver ring a minute ago. It is? Oh, yeah, 17th Street. Well, that's, that's cool. Did you see Stan up there? Yeah. He had a cell phone when I saw him. Yeah, I got one too. Cell phone? Yeah. Yeah? Nice one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it working? This no. working. No, it ain't working. No, I think so it's not. As Denny would say, that's a waterproof watch. Huh? As Denny would say, that's a waterproof watch. Keeps the water in it. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's, you know, that's enough to be ashamed of. Uh, it's got a both pull tab, I guess. I got me a... I waited a long time for this, you know, for the summer to get here. You know, after this week, five too, I think. I don't know. It looks like the one I got. I think it's a five. But hell, I don't know nothing about it. But that, that's worth some, the that some chips right there. Found so, in the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's still worth some money. I bet it's worth a hundred more. Where? <laughs> Well, how's the return trip doing? Huh? How's the return trip doing? Terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. I go. I didn't find a silver ring. Stanley, you see Stanley? He got a big, nice iPhone. Looks like brand Oh, spanking. really? Yeah. I mean, a nice one. That's good. I wonder if he left yet. I don't know. Was 
that's all about. Watch this fly over the pier part. Look at him, take it off. A roundup, gray matter, gray matter. Sometime in the 70s, Samson Road Company came out with what they call braided lead coal line. They took their nylon and polypropylene braided line and they put little pieces of lead all through the center of it. Came in a 600 foot coil and you bought it by the weight. 600 foot coil of 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, 80 pounds, and 90 pounds. It may have come in higher weights, but most of my buddies and myself, we only use the uh, 70 to 80 pound test. I mean weight per 600 feet. But you can see each little piece is hooked on there. And it's inside the whole rope. There's, there's no lead on the outside. It's all inside. Lead core line, they call it. Pretty nice stuff. But back then it was expensive. I don't know what it would be today. This is a piece of it broke off hiding in the sand. Bling. You saw that bling. Buckle. Uh, snap or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what this is unless it's some kind of earring. It resembles a earring. I'm going to call it a earring whether it is or not. You saw that little silver ring, 925. As most of my YouTube buddies would say, it's better than a pull tab. And it's kind of pretty, so I guess it's okay. Denny, I'll show you a picture of Denny's rig. He found a knockout gold band. I mean, about three eighths of an inch wide, and I don't know how big it was, heavy it was, or anything, but. When he got home, he texted me and said, 14K plated. So it's a beautiful looking ring. You'll see it in a little bit. Uh, Guru got a camera, I heard. I don't, and you saw the cell phone that uh, Stanley got and, the, and Stan. Stan got a Blackberry and Stanley got a really nice looking iPhone 5, I think, a white one. Some stuff starting to move around, looks like. The land of nada. See you tomorrow. I almost forgot my rocks. I got three more of those rocks today. Real heavy. I haven't checked them with the magnet yet. And they null out on the XL. I got Stanley and uh, uh, Stan, I think, to check them. But you can see they're kind of sparkly looking. But they sound really good on the SE Pro. Whereas they null out on the XL. I'll let you hear them in a minute so you'll know. I don't know what they are. I wish I knew. Like I said, they're really heavy. I think you'll be able to hear them. Okay, I unplugged the microphone. I'll do the the darkest look at one first. Now we do the, the little shiny one. And then the other shiny one. <laughs> they send it, don't they? Yes, sir. I don't know what they are. They drive me crazy sometimes. I don't think I ever found three in a row though, till today. I've just been one every now and then. There you go, stuck on a magnet. side note on this flying machine I'm taking the arms off of it the arms uh, bolt in like this you take four screws out of the top two off the bottom I'm gonna take the legs off of it and they'll fold up like this and I'm gonna put it on eBay tomorrow for parts 
the two sails we had pendant on it one both well I should say one dropped out and I got one today for 50 bucks but I don't think Ron's gonna let it go for 50 so we're gonna stick it on eBay tomorrow for parts you can I'll send you the link to it tomorrow probably later I got the props off of it Got to take those legs off, those carbon fiber legs. I don't know if they're uh, made for it or not, but they look like they should be. But the guy could have just bought some tubing and made them himself. He did a really nice job of putting them on there, you can see. But all the ones I've seen pictures of, I haven't seen these legs, but I think they do sell a leg kit, so that's probably what they are. Okay, that's all we got on that creature. Got the grass in the back. The lady of the house is getting ready to do some planting. That's a uh, be a week tomorrow on that Craigslist on that flying machine. I've changed the ad twice and still haven't gotten any response. So I don't know. That's why we're going to stick it on eBay now. What are you barking at? Huh? What's the matter? I saw something about a half hour ago. I haven't never seen yet. Mandu and Jack were both in the kitchen, kind of close to one another. Mandu come up and smelled Jack's tail, which I didn't think was ever going to happen. What do you think of that, Mandu? <laughs>